All right, boys and girls. Well, here we are. Taking out for the first time the 2021 Honda ADV 150. It's going to be my first time ever riding a scooter. So uh, many of you know, if you watch my videos on a regular basis, that I mentioned this bike in a previous video where I said I wasn't going to buy any more bikes uh, this year. But Honda has this, uh, it's called an ADV 150. And I'll put a little picture of it on the screen. But that thing, it is just freaking cool. It's like a little, I don't know, it's like a scooter version of the, uh, the Africa Twin. <laughs> and it's just such a cool little bike. I would honestly love to own one. And they're really not all that much money. I just happened upon this one. As you see in the, the very end of my last video, I was riding by the Honda dealership and they had one, lo and behold, sitting in the showroom floor. And the guy that I talked to about this, the, uh, the salesman here said they didn't get one in last year. Uh, the ones that last year were like a dark charcoal gray and silver color and he said that they most likely won't get another one in anytime soon so you got to strike while the iron is hot uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick up this bike because I know if I passed on it I'd be kicking myself in the butt and uh, yeah it is what it is so so far just looking at the bike it's pretty damn awesome uh, first of all I want to mention that it is quite a bit bigger in person than it looks like in the pictures I mean this is every bit as big as my Ninja 300 was except for the size of the tires of course but uh, body wise yeah it's it's a pretty big bike as far as scooters are concerned low CC scooters are concerned so y'all get to join me right here for my very first sit down on the bike my very first fire up and my very first ride of a scooter so roll the intro and we'll get back to it so here we are first sit down on the bike i am 6'1 probably anywhere between a 33 34 inch inseam and i am able to easily flat foot on this bike i know that it's got quite a bit more uh, uh suspension clearance than it's comparable it's brother in the family which would be the uh, pcx 150 which is a pretty cool looking scooter too but it's nowhere near as aggressive looking as this thing is so i like to really do like the modern styling of this bike uh, mirrors, let's see, looks like the visibility is pretty good. I'd say about a quarter of the mirrors occupied by my arms. So yeah, it's got good visibility. Um, I can't complain about it uh, for what they are. I've definitely sat on bikes with worse visibility. Uh, looking at the handlebars, it's got a nice finish on it. Obviously, you know, the fit and finish for a Honda is typical, so it's really nice. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to no foot controls on this thing, but I think the uh, joy and relaxation of not having to fumble around with controls every once in a while is going to prove to be pretty damn cool. So uh, let's see, how do we fire this thing up? Oh, okay, so we got over here, that's off, that little, hope you can see that down there, that little uh, switch down here that's light up. You basically have the key fob in your pocket. It comes with two key fobs. It's a keyless uh, ignition on it. So you basically, if you got the key on you or the key fob on you, you pretty much just sit down on the bike and, uh, well, you turn it to push in turn it to on uh the dashboard lights up does a little dance pretty cool it's a good looking dash too i mean yeah it's nice oh they got a full tank of gas in here so let's uh first start up of a scooter i think i have to pull the brake in yep yep okay so you got to pull the brake in the rear brake to uh, get the bike to start up now, from what I know, or from what I've read and seen online, basically, if you put the side stand down, it'll kill the engine. And I think it will run, basically, with the center stand under it, but I could be wrong on that. I guess I'll figure all this shit out as I go along, so. Uh, the display, so far, it's, let's see, what do we got? Miles per hour. <laughs> wow. It's got a calendar on it. Month and day. And then the time, top center, uh, trip, trip A, trip B, uh, fuel consumption, miles per gallon, and on this little button over here. It's got the voltage for the battery voltage, air temperature outside, 69 degrees, sweet, uh, fuel, average fuel consumption, that's trip A. Let's see, how do you cycle back? Okay, so if you keep cycling through the buttons here, uh, I think it'll scroll through it once for trip A, and then you keep going, and then it'll go to trip B, 
and then it'll say total miles on there zero miles on this bike so I'm the very first we're gonna put it on trip a uh, let's see average fuel consumption voltage air temperature hey go over to B I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys but this is pretty cool <laughs> so average fuel consumption I'm gonna leave it on that one for now uh, instant fuel consumption on the right so you got average on the left instant on the right and then obviously your fuel gauge and what I'm assuming I don't know if it's got a tachometer on it maybe it does I don't know uh, being a scooter if you rev the engine it's gonna obviously take off so uh, sitting on the seat seems pretty good but I'll probably replace it with a Corbin because uh, Japanese bikes they don't come with the most comfortable of seats and that's kind of one of the uh, one of the things that a lot of people do right away uh, when they get a new bike so three one of the big reasons why I jumped on buying this bike is simply because well in my area anyways they're pretty damn hard to come by and I looked on Cycle Trader this morning and from what it lists that there are three other ones in the state and the rest of them are out of state so I mean yeah I had to buy this thing there's no way I was gonna pass it up and then regret it later so anyways let's uh that's enough sitting here standing here talking and stuff let me get myself uh, situated here and we'll uh, okay so we got high beams low beams I'm gonna ride around with the high beams on just because uh, over here typical Honda turn signal lever with a nice solid feedback click to it everything and then over here you got your kill switch you got your hazards yeah okay hazards on the right and a horn on the left I won't press it and then you start button down here so anyways um oh let me sh let me show you how this works the windscreen you pull out on these two tabs hope that's in view and you push down on the windshield and you can set it in the lower position uh, pull up on the tabs and you can bring it up to the higher position. We're going to leave it in the high position. So anyways, let's get rolling and see if we can get used to this little thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Not going to lie. This is really cool. And I'm going to have to get used to this. Not having to pull in a clutch when I come to a stop. Or not having to do anything. <laughs> this is awesome. I got to leave my, uh, my helmet cracked a little bit. It's kind of a little bit warm. So, we're going to take it around the little neighborhood over here. I know it's not going to be the most exciting of scenery, but I want to get used to this bike before I, uh, before I go hop out on the road and go any farther. So, you're probably not going to see any top speed runs from this, this video, but... Okay, so braking. Braking's good when I mean, it feels like a Honda. I'm going to wait until the brakes are bedded really well before I do a, a thorough brake test on them. Oh my god, this thing, its it feels just so nimble because the center of gravity is so low on a scooter. I mean, they'd, probably the closest thing that I have to compare, <coughs> excuse me, it, compare the uh, weight distribution would probably be my, uh, my little Z125. Because the weight on that thing was down pretty low too, but that's because I had, I had lowered it quite a bit and stretched it out. So it felt different, absolutely, but... Being my first time on a scooter, this is a, uh, a new experience for me. And I can tell you right now, it's just flicking this thing over, just laying the bike over is just effortless. And it really, really is... <laughs> this is fun, to be honest. I never thought I'd enjoy a scooter so much, but here we are. Kind of feels like, looks like the handlebars are a little crooked. Maybe I'm just smoking crack or something, I don't know. But... Better pay attention to where I'm going. So what we're gonna do, um, bumps. We're gonna ride up here and just kind of just mull around town on this test ride, or my first ride. Give you my first impressions on things. Whoa, man, that back brake grabs. That is something else. Wasn't expecting that. Of course, I'm used to being a, a rider of just standard motorcycles. I thought, you know, your your left hand is kind of trained to pull that that left lever in all the way so maybe that's why it grabs so so much i was used to that but like i said this is going to take some getting used to well i'm gonna go I'm not about to hard break on this thing just yet so i'm gonna get over here and one thing i'm noticing right away just going over bumps and things there's not any squeaks or rattles or anything like that it's you know really good as typical for for honda quality of their builds and things so uh, with my little Grom when I bought that, I could hear all kinds of squeaks and rattles and, and just little noises that it makes from the plastic and things like that. It's a little bit, 
the build quality was a little bit cheaper but you know obviously Honda reliability speaks for itself so I think I'm gonna turn right here check myself out in the reflection I don't look like too much of a dork <laughs> of course I'm on a scooter that's kind of hard to avoid looking like a dork when you're on a scooter so I think I'm gonna take her on a uh, a nice little ride here I'm not gonna go too far I still have to call in to my insurance company here in just a few minutes it's nine o'clock now uh, and uh, activate the insurance on this thing because right now we're riding dirty no we're not because I have full coverage insurance on everything else I own so it automatically covers me for I believe 30 days uh, from time of purchase of a new vehicle so I'm all right so cruising down the road doing 35 36 miles an hour it's just effortless you can't even hear the engine running I've got more wind noise of my helmet than anything else can't hear the motor running whatsoever acceleration on this bike it doesn't it, there's no problem whatsoever I'm gonna compare this to my my monkey my Grom and my Z125 I'm just barely rolling on the throttle and it's keeping up with traffic no problem I know in the Grom monkey and Z125 you're ripping through the gears and and uh, to jump out in front of people you really gotta give it the bean but um, this one it doesn't seem like there's any sort of problem accelerating away from a stop I know we're not going that fast but rolling on the throttle it's got lots of pickup to it now from what I've seen online it looks like the top speed of these bikes is rev limited at like 67 miles an hour but we're not going to get up there just yet because we're going to be really nice to this bike for the first 600 miles of the break-in period I like to do that follow the manufacturer's guidelines to uh, break in a motorcycle just because I'm that guy I want my bikes to last a long time so I just follow the recommendations and things that way if anything goes wrong with the bike it's well it's not really my fault it's a manufacturer defect so it does have a uh, an RPM gauge it's all the way at the bottom of the speedometer cluster there oh, what is that no because I don't know that was weird I don't know what that oh that must be a fuel consumption gauge I'm gonna have to look into that I have no idea what that was I thought it was an RPM gauge I'm gonna have to find out because if I roll on the throttle it goes down and if I let off the throttle it goes up that's got to be a fuel consumption gauge how eco-friendly or eco-minded of them <laughs> flickable very very flickable I like this dude so how are my legs as far as comfort it feels like I'm sitting on a chair like at my dining room table it feels exactly like that my arms are out bent they could probably use just a wee bit more uh, turn back on the handlebars but other than that I don't think it's uh, not a big deal I like this I really do you know you always take a chance when you uh you buy a motorcycle without test riding at first but i mean <laughs> let's face it pretty much every bike that i've ever owned i've bought without test ri riding first uh except for my harley davidson and well i rode a different harley davidson but same model quick acceleration test oh my god this thing yeah it's got no problem getting up and going cool cool very cool an indian I'm gonna ride over to this little park over here and uh, get off the bike and walk around it and just kind of soak it all in new bike new experience so far I'm loving it I mean this is a really different experience going from just a regular motorcycle to a scooter but so far I have no complaints the seats pretty comfortable for what it is uh, I can easily flat foot it um, it's a beautiful bike absolutely gorgeous um, what else can I say I mean I'm loving it so far this whole uh, breaking with the left hand and not having to do anything when you come to a stop though that's gonna get some some getting used to not having to use rear brake or not having to use my feet for anything other than just stand here that's a uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be fun <laughs> give her a little rip here that's full throttle she's accelerating pretty nice I mean, it's not going to snap your neck back or something like that, but it's respectable. If I had to compare, I'd say it's probably just about the same. It's just about as quick. 
as a little monkey or a grom you know they got a smaller engines on them but they uh they also weigh less so this is cool this is really cool so as far as wind i mean is this wind deflector doing anything yeah i mean it seems to be channeling the air right up if i hold my hand in front of my helmet it's hitting right about at the bottom of my visor which is cool going around the corner a little bit of a sweeper here i like it yeah you see all the smoke in the air out here it's uh yeah my state is on fire again and it sucks because yeah you can taste it it's that thick out here so this thing goes around corners really very nice so it's uh I'm going to get over here in this little park and get off the bike. i got to shut, stop the video so I can call my insurance company and uh, activate my insurance on this thing. This thing, it just purrs. It just purrs. Find a good place to pull over over here. I wonder what the heck they got all this gravel piled up here for. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. This is just my uh, first ride, first impression video of this bike. There will be more to come on it. I have, I have some plans on it that has to do with this bike and doing some uh, photography stuff. And, um, you know, it's nice to be to have a scooter. You can keep your left hand free, maybe grab for a camera or something like that while you're on the road. I wish I had cruise control. Um, that's probably the one thing I would change about it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, there will be more on this bike, so right now i'm just going to uh like i said i gotta make a phone call and stuff like that well thanks for uh thanks for coming along for the ride and uh we will see you on the next video